Guys, so I'm just going to do a very, very quick tutorial on how you can withdraw your rents into your bank account directly from Binance. So if I come here to wallets, um, I currently have funds that are sitting in USDT, right? Um, so I have to convert this to ZA. So what I am going to do is I will come here to trades. So click on trade. And then the next thing you are going to do in your top left, there is an option to convert. So we will convert our USDT to ZA or whatever cryptocurrency coin you are converting to ZA. So I already have USDT selected there. Okay, so I'm just going to type so i've got a thousand four hundred usdt we're just doing this with a hundred okay just for the for the demonstration then i'm converting it to i'm gonna type this on and then i say preview conversion so my hundred us dollars in usdt is going to be a thousand seven hundred and fifty and there are no fees so i convert okay so my conversion is done i go back home back again and i come back to wallets okay now i have an amount that is in rands what do i do make sure that here you are in your spot wallets okay so i'm now going to click withdraw what am i withdrawing so you've got the option for crypto and you've got the option for cash okay you are selecting cash and then we basically do our withdrawal if you're doing this for the first time it will ask you to first link to your south african bank account whether it's absa fnb capitec and so forth it will ask you to add your account number da, 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 the whole shebang so my account is already added you will see that i've already linked my capitec account but if i wanted to change it i just click on edit account and link account via stitch if i wanted to put in another account and you will notice that basically if you are a first timer this is what you would then get okay these are all the options of banks that you can connect to but i don't really want to change so let's go okay so i'm gonna continue from where i was to my existing account number now it wants me to confirm the amount so i want to take out the whole one 755 and then i press continue confirm and then of course it does the normal authentication with your codes sending yourself the codes so i'm going to go and fetch my code on the email So that's the SMS one, we copy, we paste it here, and then we go and we fetch the email one. We copy that. And then you say submit. Okay, I need to get a new code because that one's expired have to have very fast fingers guys so let's copy that we paste and I'm gonna resend the one from the email as well because it's also expired refresh and we submit okay and that's it that's pretty much it it will take anything up to 48 hours for your funds to reflect because it's a normal bank transfer